Good morning. How are you? I'm ready. I'm ready. We're going to do our weights today. I just want to stretch out a few things. Um, hopefully you wake up in the morning and get moving and feel good. Or if you're not feeling so great, if your mind isn't in the game, before you come here, you've got to move a little bit. Um, it's the movement and it's the mindset that's going to get you through this workout. It just doesn't magically happen. You don't wake up and say, oh, I want to go lift, lift weights today. So um, when I come here, um, I've been up since probably um, 5. So I have clients at 6, 6.30. So I come here knowing full well where my body's at and how much more stretching I need to do or foam rolling or mental preparation, some music that makes me feel. And these are the things you got to do because it, it, I'm, it just doesn't, you just don't show up ready. I don't care how long you've been in this game, but I've been in it a long time. Um, there are days, yeah, you get excited, but often it's like excited to get it over with. <laughs> oh, here we go, you guys. I am going to set us up on the live and make sure we're good here. All right. I'm going to shut that down. Good morning, Rebecca Scarlett. And Linda, you're waking up again. That's awesome. I think there was one more person there. Who did I miss? I know Dawn is coming, I know Jackie's coming, I know Dawn Garvey will be here later. Um, some of you just stealth mode and that's fine. I know you're out there and I know you're doing the work, so good morning. All right, hang on here. One, two, there again. There it is. Here's Jackie. I knew you were there, little peekaboo girl. Sometimes you don't have time to go over and sit and do the whole... Uh, um, good morning thing beforehand. I understand that. You know, you got to get your gear set up. So, um, super. We're ready. Um, there, and we don't need a timer. So, here we go. I just did a few of those squats and stretches. This first 15 and 15 is a single leg squat with toe support. So, this is what I'm going to do. I thought that I would hold on or I would simply just give that light support and put most of the work on the one side. If it's too much first thing in the morning, do a set with both, okay? Both legs down. Now you can see how you feel both sides. Um, dowel, band. This is my stretch strap, and it's, um, you know, uh, not elastic. Um, I like the dowel, and I have two in Buffalo, and I should have brought one home because with the dowel, I can place my hands here and easily go over back and forth, and then I can pull them in. But you can do that with this too. I just like my dowels. I've had them for like 30 years. <laughs> Up and over is just, is just um, ooh. Uh, um, there we go. Getting those shoulders 
mobilized. And then we just have one more set of this and we should be warmed up and if not, you can continue um, with the warm up mindset for our squat and squeeze um, and lunge to knee up uh, superset, okay? Um, somewhere in, and it always happens differently for me, somewhere be, between now, the warm up, and maybe the third superset, my body starts and brain starts kicking in. Everyone's different and every day is different, right? So give yourself that, um, that leeway, you know? It's just, it's the human body, it's not predictable. To a certain degree, it is, but. from side to side, oftentimes I'm falling down and not getting good workout. So squat squeeze, right there. Now, you could use a band for this. And I will put one on next. Ten, and then the other side. on the top. Same with this one. Um, is it lunge? Oh yeah, so I'm going to just pop this forward for myself so I have a little bit of support. Stop it. There. So lunge back me up.
you might just be going um, limited uh, abbreviated range to a knee up. The most important thing here is that glute squeeze again, okay? And the heart rate elevated. So it could be abbreviated and it could be deep. probably easier to start with but they roll up on you and they're a pain in literally a pain in the ass so these ones might be more difficult but they usually have grip um, you could do less reps all right if it just was too much and I find sometimes it's too much <laughs> that's okay all right squat glute squeeze Ten. Honestly, you're going to come into the city. influencers come on and nail everything they're showing up that day and they're demonstrating a movement that they're feeling great about and they're doing it for this much time all right if if we were to talk to each one of them and say truly what does your training um, look like are you always 100% it's common sense it's not they're not making it Four seven a hundred percent. Did I do this? Gotta do these. <clears throat> set. That's challenging. 
you might do 10 reps, 8 reps, 6 reps for our 3 sets, decreasing reps. <clears throat> you might modify your squat and uh, just go through the motions. You might cut it here at 2 sets for this and then build up again. All right. Just keep in mind that we're going down for chest next. So our legs will be able to rest. Okay. All right. Let's get that band on and finish this last set. For legs, glutes are in here big time, okay? Ah, beautiful. All right. Squat, squeeze. Squat extension. Look up, I keep looking down. I'm like, Jordan, you're not going that way. And 10. Watch these. so I get the big squeeze, right? Balance is overrated if you're giving up um, that focus for the muscle you're working, in my opinion. You can work on uh, balance anytime. But when we're doing legs, focus on legs, focus on glute, and squeeze it. Good. One more set here. And then we're on the fly, pullover combo and then you're gonna get smaller weights for shoulders. center and then it's a pullover okay 10 of those equals 20 yeah and then the same thing with your front to side raise 10 of those is 20 right <clears throat> there. I don't know if these uh, tens are gonna be too much for my laterals we'll see I'm too lazy to go back there and get those too lazy often ends up in tragedy. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. All right. Right? This is where we're at. Good. <clears throat> okay. Fly position, and then those weights are together as you pull over. You don't have to take it into a really deep and long, right? Just keep it at your chest, which that means pulling those weights over just to the top of your head and back up and open close. I think that's three,
nice job. And ten. Okay, Trisha, the glasses are now fully fog. Full fog. Alright. Front side, I'm gonna need lighter weights. These are gonna just get thrown up. And um, at this point, I'm not interested in, you know, throwing those weights up. So let's control them. Use appropriate weight so that you can really feel the muscle working and not the momentum, okay? So front side. One. Feel good? All right, we gotta keep moving forward. Fly and pull over combo. Yeah, we gotta get going. Uh, yeah, we should be good. We should be good. Let's just keep moving. <sighs> Safely, right? So we're asking for less rest between sets, but not at the expense of safety and um, feeling strong, okay? Especially your joints and anything that's you know, already compromised. I, funny revelation, not so funny, but um, Taylor and I were walking the dogs yesterday, and we got the two, they're always in and out, but I was, you know, I do this little, small little jerk on uh, Matt's collar, and he listens right away, but <clears throat> was doing it so much yesterday, I noticed that that's the twinge here. <laughs> so, pay attention to your life, stupid little things. All I have to do now is switch hands every once in a while with that. Um, it's overuse, right? Because it's not a wrench and painful each time I do it, but it's small, um, repetitive movement that continues to irritate, right? I was just so proud to figure that one out because it was like not making sense whatsoever. It's like, why? Why is my shoulder hurt? I don't get it. Here we go, third set.
Okay, nine, ten, let's go. Beautiful. It's hard to loosen your grip doing those movements. So after the workout, or after that particular move where you're feeling the tension build up, um, you know, acknowledge it. Release it. Okay? It'll build up if you don't. Tricep kickback, so 12, and then uh, the dumbbell row. We're going to move on this one too because the unilateral work takes more time, right? 10 on one side, 10 on the other. If you choose to do both at one time, that's fair enough. But um, this is what we're going to do. There, and 10 and 10. I'm going to go for it. I'm going for it, kids. <clears throat> we'll see how I do. Um, heavier weights definitely put one on each side so you're not hiking it over and causing um, creating more opportunity for difficulty <laughs> kickbacks Obviously, if a forward flex position with no support is troublesome for your back, um, uh, find a, the back of a couch, the chair of your uh, bike, um, a stool, something to support, all right? And 10. <sighs> Job. <laughs> I might just do eight next time though, I don't know yet. <laughs> I think my uh, my coughing jag took up too much time, but I do need a little rest in between. At your own pace, you guys. It's these heavier weights. You need 30 to 60 seconds to recover from them, even if you're trying to get some good cardio in there. to eight and eight instead of lowering the weights I'm just uh, lessening the reps getting good reps out my choice you make your your decisions uh, 
tricep kickbacks. And then we got one more superset before our um, quick fit. between six and ten. We'll see. Make up your mind. Stay safe and do good reps. too, which is another big back focus. So uh, don't beat yourself up. into um, the 40, 45 minute mark, which is perfect. 20 minutes power walk, whether it's later in the day, whether it's right now, whether it's on your bike, whether it's your choice, okay? And it's also your choice if you think, hmm, I need recovery. We're getting a lot of cardio um, mixed in with our weight training days and our cardio days, lots of cardio. So if you're starting to feel that I call it the overlap. It's the time when it's like, I'm so tired from adding the cardio and it, the cardio hasn't really affected me positively yet. It hasn't given me energy yet. You've got to decide if this is a, a recovery day, right? That's all. I'm not a wimp out day. Strategically placed recovery day. <laughs> Go right back at those um, um, rear delt flies, okay? And give me 12. And 
and the 21s. Come on. Nine, ten. I keep counting to ten. And seven, now full range. All right, we're gonna move right into our uh, quick fit. Standing ab crunches. And Linda, you must do a lot of these usually anyways, but we're gonna, I'm gonna add them into our workout today. Football run is squat low and run quick. Pop squat is gonna be the challenge. Choose your number, it doesn't have to be 20. And then a good morning is gonna be more controlled, okay? Uh, let's go. Ooh, my hip. There you go. Okay. Starting our timer. You get your stuff ready. I'm going to be a, a minute or two here. Uh, round timer. And there's five minutes. It's you counting. 20 um, core crunches. Standing up. Uh, football run is out wide. Core crunches here. I want to squeeze. Pop squat, okay, and a good morning. For low back, that is your control one, okay? Don't trip over your weights. Uh, we need this. I am gonna take this second to clean up. Um, sometimes I think, oh, I'll just leave it, and then you trip and uh, break your neck, and then you're sorry. Okay, take the extra two minutes, tidy up. Good. I got my um, dumbbell rack in my car. That helps. When you have a dumbbell rack, it helps for your back. Like, at least put it up on a sh shelf. Anyways, um, I said we were going to go quickly here. Five minutes. Here comes our core work. Now, more arms, more cardio, but get that squeeze here, okay? Down here, count. One, two. Push up, but don't pop off the ground. All right, keeping it to a, a non-impact, but intentionally challenging movement. Good morning. With weight or without. All right. to make that like a really um, to the beat movement, okay? Your, your, your low back can't be an aerobics movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you've got to intention. Slow it down and work the muscle. All right? Uh,
ten. Twenty. Whew. Controlled. Controlled. We got a minute. seconds. Let's go. Let's finish up with um, the uh, football, right? Woo! Recovery. Signal to your central nervous system. That breathing signals recovery time. All right, so that's something that you can physically, tangibly do when someone says recover. Use your breath. All right. That you only need one or two of those. It's not much. I'm, procrastinating because I gotta come and shut that off but one deep breath fill the lungs and the second one tops everything off and then a slow exhale and just that change from breathing um, uh, harder for your aerobics for your cardio changes to a more controlled breath signals your brain food rest stress management all of them and find a good goal that's worthy worthy to work for and towards okay something that keeps you excited I mean there's always going to be those slumps and um, you know once I moved here and got so excited about everything life starts going back to normal or new normal and it's kind of like gotta find something else think about it have a great day you guys <laughs>